This is my college degree. Isn't it pretty? Look. Wow, thank you so much. No. I'm not very excited about it, to be honest, because it costs $35,000. In this video, I really want to talk about something that I think we all need to grapple with, and that is, is going to game design school actually worth it? Is it worth your time? Is it worth, I mean, most importantly, all of that debt, all of that money. Thank God I'm not in debt right now, but a lot of, a lot of um, young adults are, and I want to talk about whether it's actually worth it. So before we get started, I want to talk about something that's actually really relevant here, and that is... Skillshare. Honestly guys, everything that I ever learned about game development, everything I learned from game design is just searching on Google, taking tutorials, and watching YouTube videos. Now the cool thing about Skillshare is it takes all of those things and put them, puts them into one place for a really great price. So if you guys want to take a Unity course or a Photoshop course, audio design courses or writing courses and storytelling courses, they're all there on Skillshare. It's really a great platform. So if you guys want to get two free months of Skillshare, click the link below. The first 500 people to do so will get two free months on Skillshare.com. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about whether college is actually for you. So before I answer the question of whether it was actually worth it to go to school and whether it's worth it for you to go to game design school, I'd like to sort of go back to when I started my career, when I started being a game developer. And that was actually when I was 18 years old. And that was like right after high school, um, the summer after I graduated high school, I made a game called Coma. And I launched this game on Newgrounds.com. This was probably one of the most exciting summers of my life because before that I was, you know, I was working as a I, wor I worked as a concession stand person at a movie theater and I was fired from that job and then I got another job working as a shoe salesman. I was working pretty ridiculously boring jobs and then suddenly I was able to make money with this small flash game called Coma. And I remember going to the pool with my friends that summer and I told them, guys, I, I bragged honestly. I said, guys, I just made you know, 500 bucks or whatever. Um, with this game called Coma, and they were blown away that you could make money just releasing a game online. Um, and so I quit my job, and I decided I was going to make games. But the weirdest thing happened, and this is true, and we'll talk about this in a second. Um, when you're younger, when you're like 18 to 25, when your brain is still finishing up development, sometimes you don't put together life events piece them together and come to solutions. Sometimes you just, on autopilot, make bizarre decisions. And so right in front of me was this gold mine of making games. I loved doing it, it was profitable, it was awesome. Why not just start a company and go for it? Instead, I decided I needed to go to college. So I went to college um, after that summer and I decided to get a degree in basically graphic design. Although to be honest, when I met with the Dean, he told me we were gonna do some, some game development stuff. Uh, and so I went to college under the impression that I was gonna learn some game design and some graphic design. And I spent four years of my life learning about stuff that honestly, I swear I do not use now. It was basically just printing stuff, inks and printing and packaging. And I was very con confused. And so I spent most of my lectures on my computer making games. I'm not even kidding. I would open up my laptop because in college now everybody's got their laptops open. I would open up my laptop and I would work inside of Unity while the teacher would lecture. And believe it or not, you know, I kept all my scholarships. I did fine because I would just study the notes uh, before the, the exams. So I BS'd my way through college, and that's not me bragging, that's actually me kind of making fun of college, because college is one of those, those, those things that you can kind of BS your way through, especially for programs that are BS, and we'll talk about that in a second as well. 
So I BS my way through college. I used the degree a little bit and I'm grateful for the degree in the sense that I was able to get a graphic design job and provide for me and my wife. But after those three years were up, after I was, I was like, I'm done being a graphic designer. I want to start my own company. I quit my job and I started a, a video game company. It's called Atmos Games and I've released two games or one game and we're about to release a game in a couple months. And the rest is history, right? That, that degree is, is completely irrelevant. I wasn't even sure where that degree was. I had to go looking for it, but um, yeah, I, I'm not sure the degree is completely at all relevant anymore. I, I, I don't see the point. I don't even know what it was for. So here's the thing about looking back at that degree. And again, this isn't a game design degree, but the same things apply for game design. Most of what was achieved with that degree is worthless. Now there are a few things that are valuable, but most of what was achieved was completely worthless. Um, the first thing that was done, let me let me say that again, Thomas, go back. Four years, four years of getting that degree. I could have taken that away and spent four years building a company, making games. I could have spent that time, especially if, if you're the kind of person who's very um, entrepreneurial and you can, sort of self-start and, and find willpower and learn how to do things on your own. Those four, and that's the way I am, those four years I could have spent building a company. And on top of that, all of that money could have been spent maybe on the business, maybe on other things to help build up um, my education in a different way. But instead, I did what culture told me to do. And I hate to sound like an anarchist or whatever, but... <laughs> Don't just listen to what people are telling you to do. It's so easy to just close your eyes and coast through life, letting blind people lead you. You don't necessarily have to go to college. So looking back and thinking of the question of whether you should go to game design school, my answer is not yet. How, how's that? Not yet. There's something that we're all forgetting, and that is that when we're young, our brains aren't fully developed yet. We're not fully matured. And I'm not saying I'm fully there yet, but I'm definitely more aware of my skills and my talents and what I can achieve than I was before I was like 25 years old. I'm 28 now, but after 25, that's when I started to gain more confidence and gain more entrepreneurial skill. Before 25, I wasn't fully aware of what I was doing. So it is a very dangerous time, honestly, to make a decision of selling your soul to the devil. I mean, that's kind of what you're doing with these banks when you're getting these loans. Do you really want to make a commitment when you're 21 years old, 22 years old? Actually, no, it's even younger. When you're 18, do you really want to make a commitment to $40,000 to $100,000 of school debt when you're not even fully aware of what you're capable of? Ultimately, I think that's just a really bad idea. And I honestly think it's part of some weird conspiracy of, of these, these universities capitalizing on immaturity, but also these people are considered adults. We're all adults when we're 18, so we can make that kind of a decision for ourselves. But that's a really big decision to make. I had no idea what I was capable of when I was 18. What I do know is I was scared. I was scared that I wasn't gonna be smart. I was scared that I wasn't gonna be successful. I was scared that I needed an institution to tell me how to be and to sort of put a, a badge on me or give me a trophy and say, you're worth it. You're worth it to your employer. And that's really kind of what my degree did. Now some degrees, obviously, like my wife's degree to be a nurse, that's really valuable and that's really important. You should go get that degree. But there are a lot of degrees out there, especially something like game design, where I'm not sure, and in fact, I'm pretty positive, it doesn't really matter. What matters is your portfolio. When people reach out to me for potential internships, I do not care about your school. I care about your portfolio. And I'm, I'm trying to be nice and say like, go make some great content. I don't, I don't need you to spend money. I just need you to make great content. I don't need you to spend money on a degree. Content is what matters. So ultimately, I think the best answer for you is not yet. And the reason why I say not yet is you don't really know what you need. A lot of you don't know what you need, what you want, what you want in the future, or who you even are. I know it's hard. 
I know all your friend, all of your friends are going to cool universities and they're going to have parties and they're going to have so much fun without you, right? Well, it's only a party for four years. And then after that, it's dead. And it's perhaps not even using your degree. So instead of dreading the idea of not being able to be with your friends and not being able to be in this community of partying, which that's kind of lame if you're paying that kind of money for parties. Instead of thinking that way, perhaps tell yourself, I'm going to wait a year or two years and I'm going to try to learn this craft on my own. I'm, trying, I'm going to try and get plugged into a community of game developers on my own. It is the best time to be alive because with the internet, with social media, with Discord, with all of these different platforms to grow in relationships with people who are like-minded, it is the perfect time to not go to college, to consider waiting, and to consider trying to do it on your own. Now, there are also plenty of other platforms like Skillshare where you can learn skills instead of going to college and paying a premium for a degree. Additionally, what you can do while you wait is just go to a tech school. And believe it or not, that's what I did. For one year, I went to Greenville Tech. And it was the only decision I look back on that was a good one when it comes to college. That was such a good decision because that cost me like 1500 bucks. Just, just wait. Obviously, listen to your parents or whatever. But can you just wait a little bit? Consider waiting a year or two. Go to a tech school. Um, and don't be afraid. See, a lot of your friends might look at you and say, oh, you're, you're, you're quitting, you're giving up, uh, you're not going to college like I am. Um, I'm going to this university or that university and you're staying in your hometown. They might look down on you, but in fact, <clears throat> you're making one of the bravest, most, most difficult decisions. And, and it's the decision that a lot of people don't want to make, but they really should make. So consider making that decision and ultimately, guys, I think it'll pay off because you're going to learn in those years of who you are and what you really want. Maybe you do need to go to school. Maybe you're the kind of person who really does need a school to help guide you in the direction you need to go. But if you're the kind of individual like me who can self-start, who can look for answers online and build a community on my own, that's probably the best route for you. Now, I will say one side note here before we close. The thing is, is that going to game design school is actually really great for building a community, for getting to know people, to network. I'm not going to pretend that that's not a real thing, but is it worth $30,000? Which, let's be honest, is probably going to be more than that. Is it really worth that? And my answer is, I'm not so sure because I've built an incredible community. Believe it or not, I've built my community, and that includes a plenty of my network that's helped grow my business. I've built that through email, through social media. I didn't go to college for that. The economy is different now. Technology is different now. And I think universities are scared. I think we all recognize, and we're slowly recognizing, that we can achieve things on our own. We don't really need to spend that much money for something like this. In the end, guys, I hate to say it, but it is just a piece of paper, at least in my case. In your case, maybe not, but for me, it was just a piece of paper. Thanks guys for watching, I really appreciate you. Please hit subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment and I'll try and answer as best as I can. Thank you so much, talk to you later, bye.